Hello friends, today I will show you how to convert Access Database to MySQL Database using SQL IE application. Here in our example, we have uh, Northwind Traders Database Access uh, and we have customers, uh, employee, privilege, employee, inventory, transaction types, and so on. This is uh, this, these are tables that we want to convert it to MySQL, uh, MySQL Database. Okay, so we First step, we will click on File Export Data. Choose Access Database. Okay, we will close it first. We will choose it from here. North went. Okay. Click on Show Tables. So we select all tables and export it. Make new folder. Name it Access. North went Access Table. Went access tip tables okay click on ok the data is exported successful so the tables all the tables on north wind is exported successful table customer and blue and so on second step we will import data to my sequel so we'll choose my sequel we'll click on uh, server name 127.0.0.1 username root show database but we don't have north wind so we will create it in my sequel we'll create database named north wind underscore my sequel we will choose collision UTF-8 UTF-8 general CI and click on create so we have created northwind uh, underscore mysql as a database so we want to convert now we we'll choose here we will click on show to refresh and we choose here northwind underscore mysql we click on import and northwind underscore access underscore tables the table customer isn't existing in database do you want to create the table we click yes the customer is created successfully and the data is imported successfully let's see that how I click refresh here so we uh, sql ie application successfully to create customers table and successfully imported data into the, the table okay the table and previous isn't exist do you want yes <coughs> so like refresh we find here <coughs> sql ie is, uh, is successfully uh, created in pre privilege and also in the uh, uh, successfully imported the data we will click on yes 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 we we'll click on yes to create the table to my sql database we have okay the table customer is created successfully the table customer is imported successfully we will see here the table supplier is created successfully and the table suppliers is imported successfully let's see that in manually refresh okay so sql ie application is successfully created table suppliers and click here to see data also sql ie is successfully imported the data thank you for watching have a nice day goodbye